What's up YouTube? This is a special little four part series of this really cool wedding set that I made. I broke up the whole leather crafting process into four pieces, kind of the first 25%, the second 25% and so on. I decided it would be super cool and interesting to kind of give you little segments from start to finish rather than kind of brush over all the steps of the process on every project. So you could actually watch something be made from start to finish all across four separate items. This is video two, where we are actually tooling and bringing some depth and dimension to that art we just laid out. So the tooling process, um, we just got done with the carving. As you can see, it's a completely flat piece of leather with some carves into the surface. The tooling process is what actually gives our, you know, our piece of leather dimension. Um, it makes it look like it's something you can kind of touch and feel all those textures. Um, the first step of that process is beveling. Um, as you can see, I'm running this beveler along the lines. You know, I'm running it on the outside of the petals, um, along the vines and all that kind of stuff. Some people like to think of, you know, when they tool, they're, you know, hammering up levels and layers. I actually like to think I'm hammering down levels and layers because if you like watch as I'm going, um, I'm starting in the middle of those roses because you know, all the roses or all the petals, excuse me, um, are pushed back from the center of those, as well as these vines. You'll see I start in the top vine and then basically push it a layer down. And then when I move to the next vine, I push that vine a layer down. And then I move to the next vine and push that layer down. So it's giving us all these different layers and textures and whatnot. For example, you know, one of those little stretches of, you know, vines where there's, you know, 10, you know, 10 layers or something. Um, it's giving us 10, basically 10 different layers to the tooling. So the beveling tools are definitely interesting. I think that's the backbone and at the heart of actual leather tooling. It is what gives us that three dimensional look. As you can see those roses right there in the front really look like they're popping off the surface of the leather. I go between using steep bevelers and mellow bevelers, and this is basically going to be, you know, the ex the angle in which that little triangle lays. Um, I've been really enjoying using the Berry King mellow bevelers. I think they're the 15 degree ones. Um, but after beveling, we go into the thumbprint tool or the pear shader, whatever you want to call it. This is giving us little textures and little bits of detail, you know, on those vines, giving them a little bit more character, so they're not just you know, these weird basically floating lines. Um, I also use the pear shader, the thumbprint tool on my roses. As you can see there, that's what gives those petals some texture and kind of gives them the illusion of kind of being real. Nature, even though floral tooling isn't, you know, something specifically found in nature, um, it is replicating something that is. So you want to try and make things look super organic and flowy. And we give it a couple other textures like the scallop tool. And then the last step of the process is the backgrounder. And what I'm doing is smashing all the pieces that are in the background basically down and bury those things into the background, which is gonna give the illusion that the tooling is actually sitting on the surface of the leather piece. The background is a huge crucial um, moment for our tooling to get that dimension that we're looking for. Then the very, very last step of the process is adding some decorative cuts. Um, you can check out my video on lines of flow. I kind of describe why uh, having a bunch of extra lines is super important to the flow of your piece. And then you could see there, I was checking the piece out to see if I was done and I thought I needed a little, a little leaf there to kind of make things look proper. But um, I think the balance is really nice on this thing. I really enjoyed tooling this bad boy. I hope you guys liked that video. Make sure to check out the other videos in this series. They're gonna all be linked down in the description below. One of the cool things that I'm hoping to kind of show with this video series is that kind of all leather projects are essentially the same. Obviously, you're gonna have a little bit of different stuff up front with the designing and making sure things fit. But once your pattern's made and pieces of leather are cut out, to tool out a project and finish it and sew it up and do all those things is pretty much the same. So if you guys are leather crafters, make sure to jump out of your comfort zone and try something new because if you can do one thing, 
you can do something else. If you are not a leather crafter and are interested in some custom leather goodies for your wedding or just everyday life, be sure to check out my links down in the description below. I would love to make you something super sick, super one of a kind, and tailor it up just for your specific needs. As you can tell, it's a little bit out of the box order. We did, you know, gray roses with red floral. That might not be your specific taste, but it is definitely this nice, ladies. And that's one of my favorite parts of the job is just being able to bring other people's ideas to life and make them functional pieces of art that they can use and hold on to for a really long time. If you like that video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that obligatory YouTube stuff. Check out my other videos, all the links down in the description below. Thank you guys for watching. I'm out.